I want to say congratulations on the month of Raja. Hopefully everyone can hear Aina Rajabiyun. Where are the people of this month? It happened this year to begin Rajab almost with the month of May. So we have this two months in one month, Rajab and May. For us, Rajab is the beginning of a season of spirituality, season of salvation of soul. Because the beginning of Revelation on the Ghar, the cave of Hara, Ghar Hara, was 27th of this month. So that's the birthday of the Quran, beginning of Revelation. And also we have Al Isra wal Mi'raj, you know, that the Mi'raj al Nabi, uh, a journey from Mecca to Jerusalem and Jerusalem to Ascension the ascension, the mi'raj of the Holy Prophet to heavens happened in Rajab. Also we have munasibat like the birthday of Amir al-Mu'mineen, Imam Baqir al-Hadi, and also the martyrdom of Imam al-Qadim and Wafat Sayyidah Zainab alayhi salam. Today that is the Wafat Al Imam Al Hadi, the martyr of Al Imam Al Hadi alayhi salam, on a day like today. <coughs> and he is one of the Malum Imams that really we don't know, even as followers of Ahlul Bayt, not too much about Al Imam Al Hadi. We know, of course, about that famous poetry that he made. In front of Al Mutawakkil, but Wala Gula Al Ajiyal Tahrusuhum, Gulbur Rajal, Fama Agnatum Al Gulalu, Ain Al Wujuh Al Lati Kanat Muna Amatan Minduna Tudra Al Astar Al Kilalu. Till the end of that powerful poetry that was a warning to Mutawakkil that you are so arrogant and awful, you are negligent. You think that you are here forever. Look at the history of other people and other kings. What happened to them? You are very weak and vulnerable. Don't be arrogant. We also know from Imam Al Hadi alayhi salam ziyarat al Jama al Kabira, one of the most beautiful du'as, very comprehensive. Very meaningful that shows the link between Ahlul Bayt and Tawheed. If you go to Mafatih al Janan and you recite Al Jama' al Kabira, it's really a philosophy, a big course about a Tawheed that Imam al Hadi introduces the, the meaning of monotheism, oneness of God. But there are much more to learn about Ahlul Bayt and Imam Al Hadi and other Imams that, inshallah, in appropriate time we would follow. But now, talking about May, even in American terms, there are so many occasions in this month. Yesterday was the first Thursday of the month of May the national public prayer that I would talk about this a little bit about prayer today. But there are other occasions like the Mother's Day on 11th of May, the day to honor the moms Al Jannah Tahda Aqdam Al Ummahat. We should talk about this issue on right time as well. There's another occasion in May, and that is the International Day of Family. As a matter of fact, that is on 15th of May. That the whole international community recognize the importance of family, and they dedicated the day 
of honoring family on 15th of May. Then is coming the Memorial Day on 26th of May, and that is the, the honor of dead and, and especially those who sacrifice. There is another important occasion during this month, at the end of this month, and that is the day of no to tobacco, Dukhan. And that is another thing that on right time we should talk about that that many people forgot that smoking is a threat to their life. The Khan can kill. It can kill us physically. It can kill our money. It can kill our family. It can cause cancer. It can cause stroke. And these are scientific facts. But then so many of us, we think it's cool. It's just cool to sit down and smoke. Now if you do it just one time to put it on Facebook, then inshallah that one time is not going to be uh, what we are talking about. Even if something is dangerous, we shouldn't try it at all. But sometimes, subhanAllah, we see even some of the mashayikh, some of the you know those people that are supposed to be role model they are sitting there at Argyll and they are so proudly they put all the you know photos all over and at the end of this month the international day of no tobacco because that is dangerous it's not cool it's killing you have to be away but now in the little time that I have, let me focus, because the atmosphere of Rajab is prayer. And also yesterday was the National Day of Prayer. Let me focus a little on this important subject. As a matter of fact, yesterday in front of the, the city hall, both mayors were there, Dirman and Dirman Ice, the head of police department and uh, uh, some other officials. And when I spoke, I said that, well, this is only one day of national prayer. But every day of this nation should be a day of prayer, not only once a year. Every day should be a day of prayer. Every day should be a national day of peace, national day of patience, national day of justice. National Day of Education. It should be more than just one day. But my point here is, brothers and sisters, that even in this country, that the system is secular and separation of church and state, right? But still, in the Congress of this country, this resolution was created in 1952 and of course it start in 1775 originally but then in 1952 the Congress created this resolution that the first Thursday of May must be the day of national prayer how come it's the separation of church and state? Well, they said, we cannot ignore that. No matter how much you are talking about separation of church and state, but we must make a day for the prayer because there is need for that. We need to pray. So much sin, so much selfishness, so much immorality, so much arrogance, so much injustice, so much personal sin, social sin, political sin, domestic sin, international sins, that we need to return to God and ask for forgiveness. We need to repent, we need to return. Yes, this country 
بحاجة إلى الدعاء بحاجة إلى التوبة بحاجة إلى الاستغفار بحاجة إلى الرجوع إلى الله We need to return Yes There is a secular civilization But at the same time There is a need for a spiritual salvation And that is everybody's need It's not that when somebody died We just go and pray for the dead or when somebody is sick, we just pray for the sick. No. Even those who are alive, we need prayer. This is why we say, Allahumma gfir lahayyina wa mayyitina wa shahidina wa ghaibina wa dhakarina wa unthana wa saghirina wa kabirina. All of us, men, women, elderly, young, rich, poor, Everyone is in need of prayer. And the Quran made it very clear. Allah is saying that you call me and I answer. They say, where is God? God is very close. Just you call. And he answers right away. Sometimes we can hear his answer. Sometimes he may not answer the way that we like to hear, but he knows the best and he cares the best. So we need to pray. Allahumma ja'al du'a'ana awwaluhu falahan wa awsatuhu najahan wa akhirahu salahan. Make my prayer a point of salvation, a point of success, a point of islah. Because we need falah, we need salah, and we need najah. And the prayer is the point that we start the journey of salvation and success. And Rajab is the most, one of the most beautiful months of prayer. Started from yesterday, last night, Laylatul Raghaib, the first Thursday of Rajab. The first Laylatul Jum'ah. And there are so many du'as and so many prayers. This beautiful one, Ya man arjuhu li kulli khayr wa amanu sakhatahu inda kulli shar. Ya man yu'ti al-kathira bil-qaleel, ya man yu'ti man sa'alahu wa man lam yas'aluhu tahannunan minhu rahma. A'tini bi mas'alati iyaak jami'a khayr al-dunya wa jami'a khayr al-akhirah. وَاسْرِفْ عَنِّي بِمَسْأَلَةِ إِيَّاكْ جَمِيعَ شَرِّ الدُّنْيَا وَالْآخِرَ وَشَرِّ الْآخِرَةِ فَإِنَّهُ غَيْرُ مَنْغُوصٍ مَا أَعْتَيْتْ وَزِدْنِي مِنْ فَضْلِكَ يَا كَرِيمِ يَا ذَا الْجَلَالِ وَالْإِكْرَامِ Oh Allah, you are my hope. You are my protection from every and any evil and harm. You are the source of glory and guidance. And I am in need of your help and your support. I need it as an individual, as a family, as a community, as an ummah. It's not only America that needs prayer and a national day of prayer. We as Muslims need national day of prayer, not once a year, every day and every night. Look at the situation in Syria. 10 million people are refugees, 10 million people homeless and hungry, 150,000 already dead, and still there are some stubborn people that they are ready to make peace with Israel, which is entity of Asharul Mutlaq. a regime of occupation. For more than 60 years, they are ready to say yes to Israel, but they don't want to make peace with, with Bashar. So whom you want? You want a Nusra and Daesh and others? You think these guys are coming and make your life comfortable and perfect? Or some others come and they start killing everybody who disagree with them? and make more corruption and more dictatorship. What is it that you are looking for? 
Why you don't talk about election? Why you are not talking about democracy? Why you are not talking about let us vote? Let the people in Syria vote and choose someone. In Iraq they are doing it now, they already did. Though it is too much democracy now in Iraq, is is too much freedom. 9,000 people just for a few hundred seats. But we wish the best for all of them. Is is better than killing one another. Putting bombs in in homes in Syria, in Iraq, in Afghanistan, in, in Lebanon, everywhere, and killing children. My goodness, you both sides, they say, we believe in Allah, we believe in the Quran, we believe in Prophet Muhammad, we believe in the Sunnah. We both pray and both fast, and still killing one another carelessly and criminally like that, this is too much mess and too much evil. And this is why we are in need of absolute prayer. We are in need of Islam. Allah aslih that bainana. What is going on in this ummah? And when we pray, brothers and sisters, the language of prayer is so beautiful. Whether Muslims pray or Christians pray, Jewish pray, Hindus, Whoever addresses Allah, one God. Now, everybody may use different names. It's Allah or somebody called uh, Jehovah, Jehovah, Father, Maker, Creator, different names. But many of them mean the same one God. And when they pray, it's beautiful. One of my favorite prayers from the Christian uh, saint is the famous prayer of France, Francis of Assisi. He made that prayer almost 800 years ago when he said, Oh Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, forgiveness. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. Means let me be the instrument of faith and hope and light and, and joy and pardon. When the situation is full of hate. For it is giving. For it is giving that we receive. When you give you receive. It is pardoning that we are pardoned. When you forgive you are going to be forgiven. Somebody like. Jubran Khalil Jubran. This man of adab and culture. When. He said, when you pray, shouldn't be just the time that you are under distress and depressed and things are emergency in your life. Why you don't pray when you are happy, when you are healthy, when you are wealthy? Is it that we just pray when we are in emergency situation? Or we should feel that we all are vulnerable. There's no guarantee. Just was something in the news this morning in Afghanistan in few villages. 2,500 people died right away. No war. No terrorism. No missile. Just a little bit movement of land. Landslide. The land moved. And all these villages gone. 2,500 people died. They never thought such a thing just hours ago. And there were more people from the neighboring villages. They went to save them. It continued, the movement of the land continued, and they died too. So are we thinking that, well, we are okay. Now we are in Dearborn and, you know, nothing is going to happen to us and we are there forever. 
Or we always remember Allah in any situation. And this is why Ahlul Bayt taught us. Look at the du'as of Imam Zainul Abidin alayhi salam. As-Sahifa as-Sajjadiyya. Ocean of prayer. When Imam alayhi salam du'a'uhu inda as-sabah wa al-masa. Du'a'uhu fi talab al-afu wa al-maghfira. Du'a'uhu inda al-karb wa al-baliyya. Du'a'uhu bi al-sahat wa al-afiyya. Du'a'uhu fi makarim al-akhlaq. Du'a'uhu li walidai. Du'a'uhu li awlalihi. Du'a'uhu li jiranihi. There are 54 du'a, 54 prayers in Sahifa Sajjadiyya. And Imam Zain al-Abidin is teaching us to make the du'a day and night, morning and evening, when we are in trouble, when we are okay. Pray for ourselves, for our parents, for our children, for our neighbors, for our community, for humanity. These are the teachings of Ahlul Bayt. When we are sitting, when we are running, when we are eating, when we are drinking, when we are talking, when we are listening, when we are reading, when we are writing, in any situation in our life, we should make the prayer part of our existence. That part of our existence sense that dua and prayer and dhikr Allah and remembrance of God is the essence of our soul. It never separates from us. Of course, when we talk about prayer, we are not saying that stop working, start, stop planning, and just go and pray. Prayer always comes with action. And inshallah, I will talk about this maybe for the next khutbah, this month of Rajab, and then Sha'ban, and then Ramadan, the season of Dua, the season of spirituality, but at the same time, in our religion, spirituality and dua comes with action and responsibility. Let me end with one thing from Mahatma Gandhi. God bless the soul of this man. He was not Muslim, but I think in his heart this man submitted to Lord. When he talks even about Imam Hussein and so many good things from this pure man. He said... There are seven sins that they are very serious. And Gandhi considered those seven sins as very deadly and destructive. He said, wealth without work. Some people say, oh, my, my father has money and I don't have to work and you know I'm going to be okay. He said, that's a serious sin. Pleasure without conscience. Science without humanity. Knowledge without character. Politics without principles. Commerce without morality. Worship without sacrifice. These are seven deadly serious sins. That means that when we pray, we should feel even more responsible. And this is, inshallah, the subject of next, next khutbah that we follow up with this next Friday. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Wal asr inna al-insana la fi khusr illa al-ladhina amanu wa amilu al-salihat wa tawasaw bil-haqqi wa tawasaw bil-saab ibad Allah inna Allah ya'mur bil-adl wal-ihsan wa ita'id al-qurba wa yanhan al-fahshah wa al-makhir wa al-baghi يعذكم لعلكم تذكرون وإلى الصلاة إن الصلاة تنهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله